This video is how to add extra 12 volt cigarette lighter adapters to your car and have them stashed away under your dashboard so they're nice and neat. I'll be using these in this video. Uh, they're just 12 volt triple, zo triple socket with a USB. This car's a Lexus IS200, which will also be the same as a IS300. This is the cigarette lighter. Basically, I'm going to take this panel out, access the back of the cigarette lighter, um, and cut the plug off this, join the wires to the cigarette lighter, and then run the wire under here and into the dash. I've already removed the ashtray, just to help me get a bit of grip. And there's no other screws on this panel and the gear stick cluster sort of thing. You just pull it out. So just be careful and just lever it up. And sorry, now I've already disconnected the 12 volt connector, but that's it there. And it would connect into the cigarette lighter there. There's two plugs, one is for the light, which is a grey plug, and the other one for the 12 volt, 12 volt power, which is this one here, with the brown or pink. Yeah, pink. Um, and white with black. So I'm going to be stripping the wires and placing them onto these two terminals. So I've just dismantled the 12 volt plug and there's two wires in there. One's positive which is this one with the lines on it and the other one is negative. So it's important to identify which one's which so when you connect them up to your cigarette lighter you have them in the right spots. I know that this was a positive because it was connected to the point of the 12 volt adapter and the point would stick out and go in directly into the middle there and not touch the sides. So the middle part is positive at the bottom and the side is negative, positive, negative. With this wire, feed it up under here first so that way you can have it coming out of here and then adjust where you're going to have this located. This is the, a close-up of the underside of the cigarette lighter. This is a silver colour connector and this one is a kind of like a gold colour connector. The silver one connects to the bottom which is your positive and the copper coloured one connects to the outside which is your negative. So we need to connect it into that hole. So just wide it through the hole and twist the copper back on itself. And when the plug goes back on it will hold it all in firm, so there's no need to solder, and I'll do the same with the negative. So the negative goes in the hole, and then just twist it back on itself again. So hold them upright, and then insert the plug back on. So now I've pushed up that plug up to the top, and it's, and it's locked in pretty tight there. It's not going to go anywhere, and the wires are still connected. If it pops up out the top, you can push it back down. Um, just make sure you have it all lined up the same so that it fits. And if you need to change the light bulb up here, you can rotate. And the light bulb will, up, will come out. There's that orange thing in there. Remember when putting the harness back on? You thread it through this shroud here if it's fallen off. So that that can go over everything. You'll see what I mean in a second. Now it's ready to push on. It will be pretty stiff because you've got the extra wires in there. But um, just endeavour with it and you'll get it on. Be careful not to push the top of the cigarette lighter out, so just like, keep your finger on it. If it does pop out, it can go back in, it's not a problem. And this thing at the bottom just folds up over the top to cover it all up. Alright, just doing a test. Moment of truth. So the light coming on there. So it's got power. Yeah. 
power, charge lights on. It all seems to be successful. So the next step is to put this strategically in the car, so that way it's nice and neat. I'm planning to put it up, maybe under here. This one here fits perfectly under the dash. There's a cavity up here. So you've got air intakes, or your foot um, warmer, sorry, the air blows out of here. Just to the back of it here, it's a perfect um, space where this will fit in there. It's not even held in with tape or anything, it's just wedged in. Let's we'll see how that goes, if it falls out. If, if it does, we can just put a zip tie around it. That seems like a good spot. So we have access to the USB and two more ports here if we need it. As well as can use this one here. So all these wires just get tidied up underneath and it's good as gold. plug which can ideally charge the phone up. So I ended up putting the wire for the crash cam under here and feeding it behind the carpet just under here. And it comes along from this wire. And I can just get straight in. Everything can just get back under. It's not going to get caught on anyone's feet or anything. Um, spare wire for this. Just whipped up underneath into this carpet here and stuffed it in behind here. It's all out of the way. 